Gridiron action also continued for NAIA as GPAC conference play continues to pick up steam, with three Siouxland teams holding their spots in the top 25, including number two Northwestern, who went to battle against Doan this afternoon. The Raiders trying to stay unbeaten as they take on the Tigers for homecoming weekend. Third quarter, Raiders up 24 zip. First drive for the Tigers, and Von Martin's pass is picked off by Ben Kingery, who tucks it in, steamrolls down the field, setting up the Raiders with solid field positioning inside the 25. Big fella can move. And Northwestern would make it count as Blake Fryer looks for Cade Moser in the corner on fourth down, and it's no problem for Moser as the four yard touchdown extends the Raiders' lead to 31 zip. It was all red from there. Fourth quarter, Fryer slinging it over the middle to Moser here, and the connection would work yet again for the 18 yard hookup to extend the Raider cushion to 38. And the defense handled the rest as Northwestern dominates Stone 38 zip the final. Back in Sioux City, Morningside hosting Mount Marty for the first time ever. Mustangs opening drive, Anthony Sims gets the handoff, finds a hole, and takes off. 54-yard scamper for a Mustang lead. Four minutes later, on the 10, it's Sims one more time here. He finished the day with 158 yards and nearly 10 yards per carry. Still in the first, Lancers punting after a third and out. Caleb Schweigert catches it at the 28 here, and he gets some good blocks along the way, taking it all the way down to the left sideline. 72 yards for a 21-0 Mustang lead. Whew, talk about edging the sideline, right? Second quarter, the offense in a funk, but the defense picking them up. Jamal Jones with the interception at the 22 and takes it 78 yards the other way for Morningside to make it 28-0. The Mustangs put their foot on the gas in the second half to win it big, 56-7 the final. Over in Sioux Center, another cross-state matchup is number 19 Dort hosts Concordia. First quarter, Dort driving down the field, and the read option fakes out the defense and myself as Caden McDaniel pitches it to Brody Jones, who streaks down the sideline, taking it all the way to the house. Defender strike first, 7-0. Second quarter, Concordia posing a threat in the red zone, but the blitz from Johnny Deke pressures Nate Moore to get rid of it, and it goes right into the hands of Grant Hickson, who dances around a few Bulldogs to secure the turnover. But Concordia had a response. Seven and a half left to play in the half. Concordia inside the five. Moore dials it up. Quick slant to Caden Baran, and the connection for a four-yard score to tie it up at seven apiece. But that would be the last score for the Bulldogs as Dort stays in front, 27-7, the final.